My father led an extraordinary life. It was amazing how much he was able to accomplish. Yet it was a life shaped by the horrors of the Holocaust and forever changed because of it. My father-in-law was born September 11, 1927 in Poland. His family was living a quiet, comfortable life. They were leaders in their community, about 5,000 Jews, until the Nazi invasion. Everything was taken from them and they were forced into hiding. When he was 14, his parents told him that he and his younger brother needed to leave to escape. His parents said they would join up in a few weeks along with his older brother. They went through the forest with the help of a guide into Hungary. The Munkaj was approximately 90 miles from my town, so we walked three days and three nights or four days, whatever it took about four days. But his parents and older brother never came. They ran away later, but they got caught in Hungary. And they died in a concentration camp, along with much of my dad's extended family. Jonah and his brother made their way across Eastern Europe, eventually arriving in what is now Haifa, Israel. They accepted us and put us into an agricultural school. There was no problem. Uh, everything was organized, uh, especially for children. In his mid-twenties, he immigrated to the United States. And I didn't like the weather in Boston. And with 50 bucks in his pocket. I took the Greyhound bus and went to California. Slowly but surely, he built up a real estate development business. I went to the real estate because at that time when I came to California, they were advertising that a thousand new people arrive in Southern California every day. So I said to myself, they're going to need a place to live. So something in real estate will be successful. He met and fell in love with my mom and started a family. As a father, he was attentive and loving in a unique way, far more through example than words. My dad wasn't a very affectionate person, but he always needed to know what we were doing. He'd check in with us every day. Sometimes four or five times a day. And he wanted to make sure that everyone was okay. He would come to our house for dinner, and I would sometimes sit down with him, play a game of backgammon, and. He would always ask me questions, how, how's school going, how's life going. He loved skiing, he loved tennis. Jonah was loyal, he was relentless, he was passionate about Holocaust education, he was passionate about his family, he was passionate about Israel. He was motivated by the importance of the Holocaust never to be forgotten or repeated. He was strongly driven to protect the state of Israel, supporting many organizations and people there. He was relentless in pursuing his goal, as evidenced in this museum. The Holocaust Monument was dedicated in 1992 in Pan Pacific Park, which later paved the way for the award-winning design and construction of the permanent museum, which opened in 2010. He was very proud of the museum being finished, and it made me very happy because it was something that he wanted, and I'm very proud to continue on his legacy and keep his story going through the museum. He derived tremendous pleasure helping others. He taught us to always give back and help others who are less fortunate. When I think of him, I always think of giving back, and I would always like, like to honor him in a way by giving back to people who need more than me. We hope to do great things with the legacy he left behind for that purpose. We too hope to lead by example. My father was a great businessman, philanthropist, and most importantly, a loving husband, father, and grandfather. Through his social actions, he's done so much for so many causes. We all miss my dad very much, but I am proud that we are continuing his legacy and his achievements will live on.